Hello guys, I am Angit and this video we shall see other problem on grid code. Valid mountain array. So given array of integers, return true if and only if it is a valid mountain array. So what is a mountain array here? And which mountain array is valid? So given array, it should satisfy the following conditions. The first one is array length should be greater than or equal to 3. Why? So if you want to create a mountain, let's say, we know the structure of mountain, low, up, down. So this is, if the array element is 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, increment, decrement. So this can be an array. The minimum length which you require. If you have only 1, 2, from 1 is below, 2 is above, 1 to 2. But there is not the other part of the mountain. So this cannot be a valid one. Similarly, if you have two one, two to one decrement, the, this part is not there. So this cannot be a valid mountain. Array. So minimum three should be the array length. And if there is exist, as I said before, the elements in the array should be nothing but increment, keep on incrementing. Once it starts decrementing, it should be decrementing. This is what we have to look here. Okay. And if it if it, if it is like increment, decrement, then again increment, no, that cannot be a mountain array. So to form a single mountain, we need increment values and decrement values. That is what we need to look. So how do we solve the problem? So what, first let's take an array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1. So you could see in this given example, 1 to 4 it is incrementing. 4 to uh, 1, again it's decrementing at the end. So what to do is, we'll initialize first, we have to check the first condition. Where array length is it greater than or equal to 3. Yes, it is greater than or equal to 3, right? It is greater than 3. So, first condition is satisfied. R length is greater than or equal to 3. Yes, that is satisfied. Next, give up i equal to 0. Okay. So, this is i equal to 0. Until you find, until you find R of i less than R of i plus 1. Keep on incrementing i, i plus plus. And I should be less than n. Okay. So here if you check, if you see, okay, let I be pointing here now. I. I one is less than two, yes. Increment I. Two is less than three, yes. Three is less than four, yes. Four is it less than two? No. Stop the loop here. So now we have I pointer pointing at this four. I is pointing zero, one, two, three. Okay. So now we have i pointer pointing here. So now we have started incrementing. Now from here again run the loop. Array of i. Here you have to check whether array of i is greater than array of i plus 1. So y i less than n and array of i greater than i array of i plus 1. That means increment i value. So 4 is greater than 2, increment. 2 is greater than 1, increment. For the last one, you don't have any comparison. That's it. Stop the loop. So now you could see i is pointing at the end of the array and minus 1. So if it is pointing at the end of the array, then you have to return 2. But how do we handle this case? Only 1, 2 is present or 2, 1 is present. Let's say we have the array 1, 2, 3, 4. Array length is greater than 3, but it is only incrementing. There is no decrementing value. How do we check that? So what, what we do is we run the first loop. i equal to when i less than n and array of i less than array of i plus 1. So if it is i, 1 is less than 2, increment, 2 is less than 3, increment, 3 is less than 4, increment, 4 is done. So i is pointing where? n minus 1. So if i equal to equal to n minus 1 after the first loop, after this first loop, if i equal to equal to n minus 1, that is pointing at the end of the array, that means there is no other element lesser than this. So this will not be a mountain, valid mountain array. Then, the other case 4, 3, 2, 1. What how do we check this condition? For that, say first loop when we run 4, 4 is it greater than uh, less than 3? No. So it will not move, it will stop the while there. So in this case, i will be 0. So after the first loop, either this or this condition satisfies. i equal to 0, i equal to 10 minus 1. That means if i equal to 10 minus 1 means it's only incrementing. If i equal to 0 means it's only decrementing. That means it cannot be a valid mountain array because in this case there is no incrementing value. In this case, there is no decrementing values. So between 
these two while loops we have to check into these conditions that's the question so we shall implement now let's define length first at i equal to 0 so while i less than n minus 1 and array of i less than array of i plus 1 what we need to do I should be incremented. So after incrementing check if i is equal to equal to 0 or i equal to equal to n minus 1 then you have to return false because that cannot be a valid mounting. So again now from this i if this condition doesn't set up so next you have to check i less than n minus 1 and array of i if it is greater than array of i plus 1. So what we need to do we should want incrementing the incrementing the values. So at the end we have to check whether i is equal to equal to n minus 1 that is pointing to the last index in the array. So we can run this now. In n equal to array dot length. Okay, so I mistaken it as string. It should be it's an array, right? So it should be size. Only for string we can use the length function. So now we will learn. Yeah. And for Java also, same logic applies. Nothing change. So we can submit this and check now. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.